Hello, my name is Samantha Laysas and I'm in group C. And one of my assigned stories is Jamaica Kincaid, girl. Now, this was a really good story. Um, the author's real name is Elaine Potter Richardson. Now, she took her name, her uh, writer's name from a George Bernard Shaw play, Jamaica Kincaid. So, uh, Miss Kincaid's story, Girl, there are two characters in this story. There's the girl, obviously being mentioned, and then there's her mom. Um, the plotting or the setting of the story is Antigua, somewhere around the 60s, and she's growing up, and her mother is kind of taking her through a charm school, if you will, <laughs> and giving her instruction on how to be, you know, a young lady, a responsible young lady. So, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. The theme. Okay, so what I wrote for the plot is uh, the sequence of instruction or a list of instructions on how to become a responsible woman, basically. So that's what the story is. It is a how to become a young woman, a, a, a responsible young woman. So she teaches her in the story how to clean, how to cook, how to set the table how to behave in public around the company of men, how to behave in church. And she makes a little bit of a joke about uh, not ever wanting to appear as a slut. You know, it's a harsh word that she uses, but let's be real. I mean, our moms don't want us to be easy or fast or whatever word it was that your mom used, you know, to try to explain to you that you don't want to be that kind of a girl, okay? So, um, the theme of the story to me is recognizing the re responsibility of teaching our children, a uh, boy or a girl, how to become responsible adults. Um, there is a quote that I picked from the story that I, um, wanted to talk about. The young girl says to her mom, um, at the end of the story, uh, you kind of have to really read the story to <laughs> understand exactly what I mean. But like I just said, it, it is basically a list of things to do to be responsible, to learn how to be, re be responsible. So, but she says, but what if the baker won't let me feel the bread? And her mom says, you mean to say that after all, you are really going to be the kind of woman who the baker won't let near the bread. <laughs> so all in all, her mom is telling her to be the woman that the baker, you know, uh, will allow to fill the bread and so on and so forth. Obviously, we want to be able to touch the stars. So it's a really, really good story. Um, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, thanks for listening.